Hello viewers, this is Ashkol Rafi once again. Welcome to this new video where I'm going to show you how to create and set up a money generating blog site on blogger.com completely free and we are going to learn every little thing step by step. So in a final output, we are going to create a website similar to this one. As you can see, this website has Google AdSense ads and just take a look, we have got AdSense ads here as well. So whenever our visitors or readers are going to visit our website and they are going to visit any of the, any of our blog content they are going to see google adsense ads into our website and if they find some interest on the advertisement they are going to click on them and we are going to make some money from google adsense so that's the process of making money with a website using google adsense and we are going to learn every single steps in coming videos so in this specific video i'm going to create and set up a complete website just like this one and going to show you the process so without further ado let me visit blogger.com b l o g e r.com and then you have to hit enter you are going to see a web page just like this one create a unique and beautiful blog it's easy and free and as they mentioned it's easy and free and really it is so how we have to proceed you can use this sign in button or create your blog to get started so first thing that will be in need of a gmail account it could be a old account whatever you are using right now or you can create a new gmail account for your blog purpose so i already have an account so let me click on create your blog button here and after that i have to sign in using my gmail account so let me change this language from bangla to english so that you will be able to understand everything and now as you can see chosen account i have to select the email account that i want to use so i'm going to use this gmail account so let's click on it and after that you have to provide the password for this gmail account so as i already have it placed here so i'm going to click on next And then it's directly showing us this option create a new blog but you might going to see a page like this all right so you just have to click on this new blog and after that click on new blog and then this option will just appear and now it's time to provide title for our blog blog address or the domain name and then we have to select a simple theme from here and after that we are actually going to upload a custom theme and we're going to customize it step by step so let me assume that i'm going to create blog contents for human health so i'm going to put human health guide and then i'm going to put an address which is which is going to be a domain name here for example for agit song lyrics this is agit song lyric dot club but it is going to be like agit song lyric dot blogspot.com here so let me just take a domain name similar uh, matching up with this title so i'm going to put human health guide and let's see if we can find a address available here so let's click on it oh okay so sorry this blog address is not available that means someone else has already created a website by using this uh, username so this username should be a unique one so I'm going to put something here, human health guide agent. And let's see if we can find it. Yes, this blog address is available. So it's time to choose a theme from this selection. So I'm going to choose, let's say this one as an example. And after that, click on create blog. And now our blog has been created and now if I just click on view blog here is the blog site that we have just created but this is going to be a very basic blog so what we have to do at this moment we have to upload a custom theme for this blog so this this is going to look much professional so let's do that we have to go back to blogger dashboard here and after that we have to click on theme but before you click on theme option you should have downloaded a blogger theme into your computer 
so as i already have downloaded this theme i'm going to attach the download link into the video description for you so that you'll be able to download it and you'll be able to use it as well so let me just extract this here so click on extract all and extract and let's just cross it out and here we go we have got this folder which is actually containing our docked xml file for this blogger template so now what we have to do we have to go back here into the blogger dashboard or backend and after that we have to click on theme and then we have to use this option backup slash restore so you have to click here and then click on choose file and then specify the file which you want to upload here so we want to upload this document here faster fast loading dot xml so whatever template you are using you have to upload the xml file so let's just select this one and after that we have to click on open then click on this upload button and here we go upload it successfully and just take a look it has been changed already so now if we just visit our blog from here here just take a look how it is looking like from this basic looking website we have got this beautiful functionable website here all right and it's time to customize everything for our use so let's just go for it i'm going to omit this one from here and so let's just start from the beginning here from this header section where we want to upload our logo here and then here this is the place where we have to put a ad code as you don't have a google adsense ad code so you have to wait until you get approved by google adsense all right so let's just move on and let's just change every other elements that you could do and then we are going to talk about the other things so first thing to start changing or start modifying this template you have to go to the blogger backend and after that you have to click on layout and then the first task to change is to change the favicon so what is a favicon the favicon is showing up here as you can see human health guide is our blogger title but along with the title we are seeing here a favicon from blogger as we haven't yet changed it already been placed from blogger dot com automatically so we have to change and replace it with our own favicon so it will look more professional so let's do that i have already got a favicon here in my computer as you can see this is a favicon it should be a square image with less than 100 kb size so my image size is 197 into 197 pixels and the image size is only 7.27 kb so you have to make an image just like this one okay so let's just upload this favicon into my website so let's go back to the blogger backend and after that click on this edit button and then click on choose file and here again you have got select a favicon file please use a square image that's less than 100 kb so the image should be square and it should be less than 100 kb in size so let's click on choose file and after that i want to find out the file here it is so let's select this one and click on open and then we have to click on save now click on save arrangement click on reload okay and now if we just reload this page we are going to see some change okay it might going to take yes it's just updated I thought it would take maybe one or two minutes but update it immediately so here we have got our favicon added now let's move back to the back end again and it's time to change this logo with our logo so let's do this i want to upload my logo which is this one it is a transparent image let me just open here for your view as you can see this is a transparent image only text and i have got a line here so let's just omit it and i'm going to upload it to my website and to upload it i have to click on this header left so let's just click on edit option and after that you are going to see this image so we are going to remove this one and after that we'll be able to upload our logo from our computer or we can do this from any other website so let's as as i already have this logo into my computer so i'm going to upload it from there so let's click on choose file 
and then here we have this logo I'm going to click on open and here you can see few options placement behind title and description instead of the title and description have a description placed after the image so I don't want to place anything else with my logo on my website so I, I just go with this one instead of title and description so let's click on save and now if we just reload this page we're going to see our logo has been placed here on this website so now it's looking really nice now what we have to do we have to work on this menu section as long as we don't have this uh, codes already so as you can see here for to make change uh, with a google adsense code here so what we have to do we have to click on this header right option as you can see html slash javascript so we are going to learn about this thing later but let me show you what or how it will appear so let me just click on edit and you are going to see a code panel here so it might going to take it, it it could be it could be your uh, Google Adsense code here okay so which will contain an image so that you will see an image appearing here just like this one so we are going to ignore this one as of now as we don't have a Google Adsense approval with this email address so let's just move on we are going to work on this uh, menu section so let's just go back to the blogger backend and after that we have to click on edit and here you will see all the listings all right so as you can see we have got features then multi drop down drop down one etc etc so let me just show you about these things for feature by this feature option we are actually going to see the main menu and after that with one underscore we are going to see one drop down list and after that two drop down menu that means that or actually underscore that means we are going to include this drop down listing into this drop down list all right so we are going to learn about these these things soon so let me just show you the things here in feature we have got multi drop down and then include in in, in the uh, multi drop down section or option we are going to see these menus as well drop down one drop down two drop down three and then we have got shortcuts sitemap error page and then we have got learn blogging other stuffs so now we want to delete all of these things from our template and after that we are going to create our own menu sections here so let me show you how to do them we have to click or go back again here on this main menu section and after that click on edit so as we have to delete all of these menu so we have to click on these delete buttons let's delete them and now let's click on save and we are going to see no more menus are here available all right so everything has been gone now let's just add our own menus here so the first one would be home so let's click on menu again and after that let's keep it as it is and then i want to place this domain or address here on this place new site url paste it here and after that i want to put like home page home and add link all right so our home page has been added now let's click on save now if i just reload this page we are going to see okay so two home page but we want only one and it's going to be available soon okay so we're going to make the change and again go back here and after that click on edit and then i want to add another menu which is going to be about teeth health so let me type out here teeth health and after that i have to give this a name so i'm going to copy this one again i'm going to paste it here and then the new site url as we don't have a site url yet so we are going to click on it and just start the menu and after that we are going to add it come up again and we're going to edit and add all the uh, things here all right so let's click on save and let me click on view blog it is going to show us home teeth health and we are going to remove this home from here 
delete all right and click on save and now i want to enter a few more let's just reload this one we are going to see home teeth health and then we are going to add few more options here like uh, brain health and after that i'm going to see i'm going to type uh, mental peace so let's just go for this we're going to click on menu and after that we we have to put here mental oops it should be on the menu and after that we are going to give a new site name which is mental health and add link and again I want to create another menu which is going to be uh, peace in mind and let's click on add link click on save now if we just reload this website we are going to see a few more options here all right so it's time to add our about page and then contact page here so let's do that let's go back here and going to put about us add link and then we want to place contact us and add link and now if i just click on save we are going to see all the recently added things are appearing here so we have we have to place them properly so how to place them in right fields so i want to place about us in this this place and then contact us into the last part so let me show you how to change or how to place them properly so let's go back again into our uh, blogger backend after that click on edit and then we have to we have you will find this option as you can see up arrow or upper arrow and then down or uh, down arrow so as i want this contact us page into the bottom of this uh, bottom of this list so i want to click here and then click here click again click again and now if i just click on save let's reload this page just take a look we have got our contact us page here although it's showing us blocked as we didn't put any link here so these are going to work fine within few minutes so let me just show you the way how to add these linking pages all right so and to be able to show you the process first thing i have to do is i have to upload a post or make a post on our blog site so let me show you how to make a post and i'm going to the blogger back in again and after that we have to click on these posts and then we have to click on new post so as our second okay so i want to place this one into this field first as i am going to as i'm planning to create a blog post about teeth health all right so how to do that i have to go back again to this blogger back end and after that go to layout and then click on main menu then i want teeth health after this about us section so let's click on this upper arrow and now it is in the right place so click on save now click on uh, okay so you don't have to view blog just reload this one and here we go teeth health let's delete this one and now i want to make a post regarding teeth health and let me show you how to do that we have to click on posts after that click on new post and here is the place where you have to give our post title so let's write a post title how to whiten sorry whiten your teeth naturally or let's say whiten your teeth and keep them strong okay so this is my post title and for post content i'd love to enter some demo contents from lorem ipsum so i'm going to lorem ipsum to find these codes or actually texts so let's just do that i'm going to copy all of these parts copy and going to paste them here okay so these are having some formatting so i'm going to remove the formatting from notepad so let's copy them paste them here so that it will match up with our editors uh, formattings after that i have to copy these text as well copy and 
paste them here paste it and now i want to upload an image so as you can see here we have got lots of options or actually all the options these are available on a microsoft word document similar to microsoft word document for example if you if you want to make this text uh, bolder then you can actually do it from this bold button here and now if you want to keep it to and give it to a italic format so you can do that as well all right so that's how you'll be able to use all of these functions and you'll be able to customize it based on your need so as i want to upload an image i have to use this image icon here click on this insert image icon and after that you have to click on choose files and then upload the image that you want to place so i want to upload this image as an example so let's just click on open and then we have to select this image click on add selected and after that you have to click on this image to find few options as you can see medium size small size large size extra large original size left center right whatever you want if you want to place this image in left side you can do that and if you want to place it to right side you can do that by clicking on right but i want to keep it in center and after that you have to work on sorry about this uh, okay so after that we have to work on these properties so let's click on properties and then you must you should provide title text and alter text for your image for seo so i'm going to type out here whiten your teeth and then men with white teeth and let me click on ok and now i want this image in original size so, so let's just click on original size and this is how you have to make a blog post now let me just click on publish okay so before publish i have got some more works to do so this is how after publishing a blog content on your website let me show you how it is now looking like and after that we are going to edit this blog content to enter some more information to show you some linking options here okay so let's just click on view so that it will be open in a new tab and just take a look how our blog post is going to look like all right so now if we just click on home it is going to be appear here so whatever blog post we are going to place it is going to have this title then the author name then the blog a little description of the blog and then this read more button if your visitor has some interest in regarding this subject they are going to click on read more to read full content all right and they will be able to share share your content on facebook twitter pinterest linkedin whatsapp or whatever platform they want and here if they have some opinion they will be able to place a comment as well so that's a great thing and now let me show you how to edit or how, what are the what are other changes that i would love to do while i make a post so i'm going to click on edit button here and after that i would love to make a label here or actually place a label here as i have written this blog content although it's an example regarding uh, human teeth so i'm going to use this one as a level so teeth health so i'm going to click on levels and then i'm going to put teeth health and i'm going to show you how it is going to work click on done and after that here from this permalink you will be able to see what is the permalink is going to look like and we'll have other options soon for editing the permalink all right so let me just ignore this one and if you want to publish this blog content after a few moments or let's say by tomorrow in a certain time you can select the time period as well by clicking on this uh, scheduling option all right so let's click on done and after that here if you want to place any location then you could you could do that as well so i don't want to place a location here so i'm going to click on cross and i'm going to click on done after that we have got options where this these are very basic things reader comments if you want to allow your readers to make any comment so i always keep this to allow and show html literally it it's fine to keep as it is and then use beer tag to uh, make line breaks okay so let's keep it as it is otherwise if you click on press enter it will have a line break 
so we want to keep it as it is so let's click on done and after that i want to click on update and now if we just visit this teeth health i want to place let me just reload this one again this is appearing in our home page and all of the contents we are going to uh, publish are going to be available on home page for sure but we want a certain types of post in a specific uh, under a specific menu for example i as i have written this post regarding human teeth or teeth health i want to keep it whenever someone is going to click on teeth health they should see all of the contents these are containing uh, something written about human teeth all right so how to do that so let's just click on teeth health and you are going to see this page is blocked but i want people to find all the posts which are containing uh, teeth health related contents so how to do that so you have to click on the post actual post from your blog and after that you are going to see these labels okay so as you have entered in in our label field of the post so you have to click on this teeth health level and after that you have to select from this question mark as you can see and we have to copy all of these things so let's copy from this question mark all right and after that we have to go back to the blogger backend then go to layout and then we have to click on this main menus edit option and then we have to click on the certain or the specific menu where we work on so you have to click on this edit icon and after that we have to place the url here so you want to place the copied url here and let's click on save now click on save again now if i just reload this page and if i just click on teeth health we are going to see all the posts which are containing any content regarding or with teeth health so let me show you another uh, the example by making another blog post so i'm going to do this in fast forward mode to uh, save your time and now i want to make another post which is where i don't i'm not going to use the label for teeth health so that you will see the difference All right, so I have made three posts, as you can see. Uh, two, two of them are containing teeth health, teeth health levels, but one is containing mental health. So now if I just reload or actually go to this home page, you are going to see three posts has been made on my blog site. But whenever someone is going to um, interested to find all the posts which are containing something regarding teeth health, they are going to click on this teeth health button and just take a look as i have entered teeth health level for these two posts we are going to see the, uh, them here all right but whenever we are going to our website actual home page we are seeing three posts in in our website now let me just uh, make this one this one link to mental health or whatever i uh, yes this one is under mental health so let me just click here and i'm going to link it to mental health button or actually menu so this will this is going to be available in mental health which is not working as of now but let me edit here go back to layout and after that i want to work on this main menu and then we are going to click on edit after mental health and then paste the code which you have copied click on save now click on save again save arrangement now let's just reload this post and let's go back to home page here if i just click on mental health we are going to see one post which is coming up all right so whenever someone is going to click on teeth health they are going to see all the post which is containing this level teeth health all right so that's the process of leveling your website and linking your menus into the um, specific post category in your blog so I hope you are clear with these parts about these menu parts and these uh, linking or into the uh, linking your post into the menu parts. Now, if you want to add some other contents or actually drop down menus under this teeth health, how would you do that? Let me show you the process now. 
So let's just go back here into our blogger backend. Under layout, we have to click on this main menu part. Let's click on edit. And after that, we have to write a new site name, which is going to be underscore, sorry, underscore. Then let's say teeth cavity. I don't know if I'm if I've written it right. Okay, so cavity and then click on add link and we have to place it under teeth health. So let me add another drop down menu. And after that, we are going to do this uh, placement. So I'm going to type this name as a teeth brush as an example. Let's click on add. Oops, I made a mistake. I have to put this underscore here. So let's do that underscore click on save. So these are subdomains. All right. So now if I just click on save, it is going to look like odd as you can see. Just take a look home. Okay. These are placed into our home category, but we don't want this them here. We want them under teeth health. So how to do that? We have to go back here again into the menu section, click on edit. And after that we have, we have these arrow buttons as you can see. So let's just do that arrow arrow teeth brush and again teeth brush. So here teeth health and after that we have got this underscore teeth brush. We have to place this one here as well. So let's do the arrow clicking. Okay. So the first one should be teeth cavity. Okay. Oops. So teeth health, teeth brush, teeth cavity. Now click on save. Now if we just reload this page, we're going to see drop down menu into this part here. Okay. So teeth brush, teeth cavity. Now you can follow the exact process to link post on these uh, drop down menu as well, which I have showed for these things. So now if someone is going to click on teeth health directly, they're going to see these posts and whatever posts are going to come up here. And if they want to see post regarding teeth brush, they could just click on it and whatever post link we are going to uh, assign, these are going to be available here. So that's the process of these menu sections. And now we want to work on the sidebar section. All right. So as you can see here, we have got some unwanted parts, which are follow us button. We don't want this. Instead, we are going to place in widget for Google AdSense code. And after that, we, we are going to remove this YouTube uh, video option as well, because many of you might not have a YouTube channel. So you shouldn't have this option available here and you can keep this trending uh, widget here and we can remove our about me section from this part and also we can remove blog archive from this part as well so let me show you how to do them so let's just move back here into our blogger backend and after that let's go a little bit down and then just take a look sidebar as we want to work on this sidebar option so let me show you how to work on them and just take a look at the first gadget as is the first gadget, we have got HTML JavaScript code so that we'll be able to place a Google AdSense code into this field. So these will be available just like this one. All right. So let's just keep this as it is. And after that, we have got this follow us option. So we want to remove this one. So how to remove it? So we can click on the edit option. And after that, we have to click on remove option. Click on OK. And now, if I just click on save arrangement and let's reload this page, we are going to see that the follower option or following option has been removed from our template. And now I want to remove these subscribers and about me section and blogger blog archive from sidebar. Instead, we are going to put, let's say we already have this HTML JavaScript code. And after that, we will have trending and then we are going to place another HTML JavaScript widget. And let me show you how to do that. So let's just remove the subscribers button from here and let's keep trending. Let's remove about me. Let's remove blog archive. All right. And let's keep number as it is. And it's time to add another widget and we can actually place these widgets as, as we want. All right. So let's keep as there and then click on add a gadget. And you are going to see some gadgets as you can see AdSense. You can add AdSense codes into the sidebar. 
you can add html css or actually html javascript code option again here so let's just add html javascript code as our adsense code has some javascript and html coding so let's do this and we are going to click on save all right so now let's place it to this part all right and click on save arrangement and now if i just reload we are not going to see any change instead of just the remove version but let me go to home page here it is how it is now looking like but now we want to place a contact us from here in this page in this field so how to do that again we have to go back to our backend and then click on add a gadget to the sidebar and after that go a little bit down you will find contact us form as you can see contact form so click on it click on this plus icon and then contact us so you have to make the change contact us and click on save and we want to place this at the bottom of this page click on save arrangement now if i just reload this page we are going to see this contact us option has been appeared so now whenever someone is visiting our website they will be able to um, send us in a message with any of their inquiries they could place their name email address and message here all right so that was about the sidebar now we want to work on this section which is the footer section so let me just make it make some change on this popular post section we want to keep only two posts so that it will look nicer so let's just go back here into the blogger backend go a little bit down and as you can see here footer widget footer widget a footer widget v so footer widget a is here this one and then we have got footer widget v and after that footer widget 3 uh, c so let's go back and we want to make change here footer widget c click on this uh, we have got this widget added so we can actually click on edit and then as you can see popular post we want to place it to all time and then we want only two posts okay and let's click on save now we'll be able to see only two posts available here all right and now it's looking much better and then we have got footer widget a where we have got about uh, about information as you can see uh, about the author so if you want you can place it here otherwise you can simply remove it from this place and we can place anything else so let me just click on about or actually let's just click on edit and then we want to remove this section from here and instead we are going to add a featured post here so that whenever someone is going to hire us for sponsoring for sponsoring something here on our blog site we could do that so let me show you how you could do that let's click on add a gadget and then you are going to uh, find this option featured post let's click on plus and then as you can see some options post snippets show post title post text snippets show image and some other things so let's just select the post that you want to place here then we have to click on use a post and just take a look whatever post you have under this under this level you are going to see it here appearing so let's just click on it and then click on save and now if we just reload this post or sorry page we are going to see that our post has been appearing now i think if we just place uh, three of these popular posts here it will look much nicer so let me just make the change here to popular posts and i want to post uh, three posts here click on save and now if i just reload this page it is going to look nicer and here on this category field we can work on this category section although we haven't yet added any category we can actually select on all levels and then we can show number of uh, posts per level and you can list them just like this so let's click on save now if i just reload it we are going to see all the categories these are these we have made post about all right so you have made post about teeth health you have made post about mental health these are going to be available here all right so that was the process of editing the template and we want to add these social media links into these fields 
So our social media links and let me show you how to do them as well. So let's go back to the blogger backend and after that we'll go a little bit down. And as you can see footer social widget. We want to work on this. So let's click on edit. And then we are going to see all the links that you want to keep. So we don't want RSS, we don't want email, we don't want Pinterest. So we want to keep only Twitter, Facebook, Instagram or let's say we don't want Twitter as well. And now we want to link our Facebook, Instagram and YouTube channels here. So let me show you how to do them. We have to click on this edit button and then we have to place the URL here. For example, I'm going to put HTTPS slash or double colon slash then www.facebook.com slash achharulrafi. All right, click on save. And for Instagram, again, https dot, oh, sorry, double colon slash then www.instagram.com slash achharulrafi. And again, for YouTube, I want to place my YouTube channel https double colon forward slash www.youtube.com slash acharul rafi editor this is my youtube channel URL. let's click on save now click on save and click on save arrangement if i just reload this page now we are going to see only facebook instagram and YouTube channel link so now if someone is going to click on our YouTube channel or YouTube URL YouTube link they are going to visit our YouTube channel here all right so that's the process of linking something into your website as well linking your social media profiles into your website as well so this is it and it's time to make relevant posts make unique blog contents on your blog site and then after a few days or maybe few months whenever you are you will start getting some uh, organic audiences you are going to find or use this option which is earnings let's click on earnings and after that you will see this option Google Adsense turn your passion into profit and as you can see our blog site is as you can see your blog doesn't currently qualify for Adsense so now as we don't have posts as we don't have visitors in our blog our blog site is now not qualified but you can learn more about how to qualify for AdSense. You need, as you can see here, to participate in the AdSense program, you need to meet eligible requirements. So to get qualified on Google AdSense approval, you must be at least 18 years old. And you can actually, if you're not 18 years, you, you can use your father, mother, or sister, brother's uh, information as well, all right? And after that, you your uh, blog site should be about let's say uh, one month old or two months old, and your blog content your blog site should have at least ten blog posts. This is not the actual requirement, all right? But after publishing let's say ten to fifteen blog contents on your blog site, you will see this option, okay? Uh, like sign up for Google AdSense, all right? So that you'll just have to sign up using your Google AdSense. Let me just show you Google. AdSense you just have to provide the information here okay just click on get started and after that you have to enter your website URL so you just have to let me show you what you have to do you have to enter your blogs uh, blogs URL and after that your email address and then get helpful in, in AdSense info at the email address so yes and let's click on save and continue that would be all fine all right, and after that you will see some more options which are going to come up. So as I already have a AdSense account approved, so I don't have to uh, go for it. But if you don't have one, you can simply follow the processes from Google AdSense web page, and then you can just assign this AdSense to your website. So that's the process, and after that you will be able to show ads on your website just like this one, so that whenever someone is going to visit, let me show you uh, the process. All right, so here I have just entered a song lyrics name here and my website is ranking in the second place. So let me just open this one. So whenever someone is going to visit my website, they are going to find Google AdSense ads, as you can see here, at ad code from Google AdSense. Here is another ad. And if you just notice, okay, so there was two 
ads on my website and if someone finds some interest on these ads they are going to click on them and I'm going to make some money from Google AdSense as I have shown on my, one of my videos let me show you the video I'm going to attach the video link into the video description as well for you if you are interested so I'm going to type out Ajhar Rafi so I've just started a new playlist on my YouTube channel so that if you're interested to make money and learn about blogging then you can follow this playlist as you can see only one uh, video is there where I have showed I have started generating money from my websites just like these websites all right so I'm just I've just decided to create step-by-step -step videos in coming days so that you'll be able to follow the steps to get or get your Google AdSense approved all right and make money so I hope I was able to help you uh, learn the process of creating getting started with your blogging journey creating a website and op customizing it based on your need and after that we still have some works to do we have to uh, add some important pages just like this one about us privacy policy terms and condition disclaimer contact us pages and we are going to learn about these things in future videos all right so to learn about them please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow my future videos and if you have found this video informative you have if you uh, was able to learn something from this video please give this video a like to encourage me to keep continue uploading more videos relevant to this one and i hope to see you in the next video and please don't forget to share this video as well i hope to see you in the next video thank you very much